What's up? Bruh. Today we're gonna talk about tools and not just the usual ones, pickaxes, axes, shovels, hose, but actually you can also enchant flint and steel, carrot on a stick, warp fungus on a stick, and even shears. Let's start with the very basics of enchanting. So behind me are the very basic things that you will need. You'll need to mine some lapis lazuli from mines. You'll need some bookshelves to increase the enchants that are offered to you on this enchanting table. You'll need a grinder to remove enchants, and you'll need an anvil to add enchantments from enchantment books. Before we go on, this is how you set up an enchanting table. Place the enchanting table in the middle like so, leave one block distance between the enchanting table and the bookshelves, and you'll need 15 bookshelves in total to get the maximum level of enchants offered by the enchanting table. This is a basic enchanting table with only one bookshelf next to it. If I put in an item here, I'll only be offered low level enchants. Now this is not what we want. Instead, let's go to this enchanting table, which already has 15 bookshelves surrounding it. As I put my sword and my lapis in, you can see that I'm offered an enchant that requires me to be level 30. I'm currently only level 4, so I need to level up before I can actually do this enchant. Okay, so I'm now level 48, and if I do this again, as you can see, I can already do this enchant, and again, this is gonna cost me 3 lapis and 3 levels. So I'll do that, and you can see that my lapis has been reduced by 3 and my levels has been reduced by 3 as well. So one thing to note about enchants is once you're offered something, there's no way to change it. So if you are offered unbreaking 3 here, there's no way you can be offered any other kind of enchants. Even if you break this table or the book surrounding it or go to a different enchanting table, that will not change. But there is a cheaper alternative. If you do need to reset your enchant, simply place your item and then place your lapis and then just grab the lowest level enchant possible. So it would cost you less lapis and less XP and then go to a grinder and from here you can reset the enchantments on your item or gear. Place it over here and then you can pick up the bow on this side, you'll get some XP back and the enchants will disappear from the bow. Thanks to Jessicat for this tip by the way. Here's some various other enchanting table setups that you can use. So you can place the books randomly like this as long as they are one square away from the enchanting table, leave a gap in between and you have at least 15 books in total. You can also use enchantment books to add enchants to your weapons and tools and armor. And the way you do that is by placing them on an anvil. So the way you do this is by placing your sword and an enchantment book on the enchanting table. You can also rename the item that will cost you one additional level. Rename, for example, and then we can add that enchant right there. But the issue is if we keep using books again, 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 as you can see, we've used six books already on this sword. The seventh time you try and use it, you'll get this notification, too expensive. This is because an item can only be enchanted, give or take, six times. That's not exactly how it works, but that's just a rough idea of how it is. Now we can go back to the grinder and remove all the enchants, like so. Now that it has been reset, the penalty points for using enchant books or repairing items has been reset, and we can redo this process, and the best way to do this is by combining books. So we'll combine one book, and then combine these two books, and then we'll combine another two books, and then we'll combine this book and this one here, and then we'll combine the books again, and finally combine these two books, and by doing that method, we can actually get all the enchants on this weapon. So there you have it, that's the basics. I think I've explained that pretty well, but there's more tips that I'm gonna give you as we do this in my survival world, as well as the cheapest way to go about it, how to save up on XP, and tips on choosing the best enchants. All right, we're back at my survival world and it's getting late, so I am going to go find a bed. I think it's downstairs, so nice floating island by the way, right? So we'll just jump on down here. I don't wanna die, so I'll jump carefully and there we go. I died last time trying to do that. So my bags are super full. If you need a tutorial on how to make an automatic item sorter, it is available on my channel. Do consider subscribing, of course, and do leave a like. That would be very helpful for my channel, so too many emeralds, we'll just drop them in here and stuff that I don't need. So these are the tools that we'll be enchanting today and let's discuss which enchants can be given to which tools. Flint and steel, carrot on a stick, warp fungus on a stick, axe, hoe, shovel, pickaxe, and second pickaxe. And I'll explain why you need two pickaxes in a bit. First of all, for these three tools, you can only enchant it with Mending and Unbreaking. Now, Mending repairs your tool every time you get experience points. 
whether it be from killing monsters, doing trades, having XP farms, and so on and so forth. Unbreaking makes your tools last longer. It adds to overall durability, so it's a great combo with mending. Now the exact same thing goes for all the tools. You can have mending and unbreaking on all of them. However, one difference is that you can actually add efficiency on these tools. Efficiency 5 is the highest level. And what efficiency does is it makes you break blocks faster. So very convenient. After a while, I mean, I, I, I can't. I mean, I can't fathom not using them anymore. Finally, you have two enchants here that can be used on all of these tools. So Silk Touch, this one can be used on any of your tools. However, you cannot combine Silk Touch, whoops, WhatsApp notification. You cannot combine Silk Touch with Fortune. Uh, yeah, so you have to decide whether you want Fortune or Silk Touch on your tool. So what Fortune does is it will give you more chance to get more loot when you're mining something. For example, if you're mining diamond ore, you might get more diamonds per block. So that's very good. However, it will not work on the new nether right on the nether so yeah just keep that in mind now silk touch when you use silk touch anything that you mine for example if you are using it on dirt where's my silk touch pickaxe wait i i, I lost it it doesn't matter because i'm making a new one so silk touch whenever you use this on a block it actually gives you the actual block so if you break ice you'll get an ice block if you break a diamond or a block you'll get the diamond or instead of the diamonds so that's very, very useful to have. So yeah, basically you'll want two pickaxes. Why? Because you'll want one with Fortune 3 and you'll want one with Silk Touch. That is why we have two pickaxes here. So is Silk Touch really useful for the other tools? For example, for a, let's say an axe? Well, I, I maybe, maybe not. I mean, if you break a bookshelf, you'll get the bookshelf instead of just books. But I mean, yeah, there's not too much uses for it yet. I mean, not enough to warrant you carrying two uh, wood axes. I mean, well, you can carry two, but inventory space is so limited unless you have shulker boxes, so I wouldn't do it. Now, there's an additional enchantment that you can put on your tools, and that that is the damage enchant, so you can choose between Sharpness 5, Smite 5, or Bane of Arthropods. Bane of Arthropods is for damaging, well, arthropods, or like spiders and such, so I'm sure everyone's having a tough time handling spiders, so if you need that, go ahead. I was being sarcastic in case nobody caught that, but anyway. Uh, Smite 5 is useful for undead, and since the sword that we carry, uh, fully enchanted by the way, if you missed that video, I, I posted it a few days ago, just uh, search for a Masbro weapon enchant. Alright, so let's get to it, and let's start enchanting, but before we use the books, and I'll explain the mechanism later, let's try and use the enchanting table first. Enchanting table, so do you actually want to use the book straight away, or enchant? Well, uh, when it comes to experience levels, which is this uh, number down here, it's always cheaper to use the enchanting table. However, for convenience, if XP is not an issue, I would just use the book. So can you actually enchant tools on your table? No, you can't. Same with the sticks, you cannot do this on an enchanting table. Let's go ahead and enchant this diamond pickaxe. So I'll click here. As you can see, from 40, it went down to 37. And I got Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 3, and Fortune 2, which is not bad, actually. That's not bad. So let's continue on this route. Next, we're gonna enchant this hoe. Sounds weird, hoe. Anyway, and it has Fortune 3 and Unbreaking 3. So we only need to add a few more enchants to make that perfect. And now we're gonna do it on this axe. And Fortune 3 as well, so that's perfect. And it's just Fortune 3 on that one. Okay, I'm not gonna enchant this last one even though it has efficiency 3 because I basically want to show you what it looks like if we don't use an enchanting table so that you get a clear picture of how everything works. Now we need to get down before it gets too dark. Alright, now let's start with the diamond axe here. It has fortune 3 which is not really that useful for an axe to be honest. So we'll need to upgrade it with a few things here, unbreaking, mending, Efficiency 5, that's the three essentials. Now I'm gonna add smite just cause. Um, well, maybe I'll encounter undead mobs and it'll be fun just to whack them with this axe. So, what's the best way to do that? Go to an anvil, like so. And then what you'll wanna do is put two books together, like so and like so, and check the enchantment cost. It costs two, right? That's already pretty good. Sometimes if you put it on the wrong order, it might cost more. Here it costs three. But if I switch the books around, it'll cost two. So we'll grab that. And finally, uh, I want Smite 5, so I'm gonna get that as well. So basically, you combine your books first, like what I'm doing now. That's gonna cost 5, 
Let's see if it's the other way around. That's costing me five as well. Okay, so I'll combine that. So you have two combined books. This one has two enchants. This one has two enchants. Now you combine both of them as well. Make sure to check the cost because this costs 12. Let's see if we switch it around. It Maybe it'll cost less. Seven. Perfect. Stonks right there. So we trade that in. So we're basically going to do this now. We have enough levels. But the thing is, if you want to rename this to something else like uh, Thor's Hammer, for example, it's going to cost you uh, one extra level. So we're going to do that real quick. I need one more level. Okay, that was easy. Right. So Thor's Hammer. Okay. So I have Thor's hammer in my hand now. Awesome enchants and we can go on with the next one. Okay, so I need some XP and the easiest way to do that for me, at least if you followed my tutorial so far, is by making trading halls. And here's an iron trading hall and I get tons of iron right here. That's getting full blocks of iron here. That's insane. So we'll do some trades down here and we should have enough XP to do all of our enchants. So the first thing we want to do is combine our mending and unbreaking books for these tools. One, two, three, four. The cheapest way to do it is to combine it uh, while you are low level. The higher level you are, the more XP it will cost to level up. So for example here, if I go to one of these anvils like this one here, which is about to break soon, which might be an issue. Maybe I'll use this one instead. Okay. And if I try and combine these, let's see how much level it costs. That's three. So I think I should put unbreaking first because that will only cost two. Okay. And I'll put unbreaking first again. Only costs two. Great. And I'll grab some XP here. Back to level four. And I'll use that again. Unbreaking first. Only costs two. Great. That's very, very efficient. Now I just need to add the tools and enchant them. And that will cost me uh, six levels each, I think. Okay. It's the same for all items. So what I'll do is I'll get six levels and then I'll upgrade all of those gear. Okay. That's already six levels. So I'll break there. I'll grab this anvil. And put that up. That's gonna cost me six. Perfect. And then this, I'll just grab some more XP. You can see how easy this is, right? This is amazing. All right, here we go. And upgrade the warp fungus on a stick. Okay, that's great. I need a little bit more XP. Okay, that is six. And carrot on a stick. And finally, my shears. Okay, that's great. One, two, three, four. All of them fully upgraded, just like that. So we finished five tools already. One, two, three, four, and our axe. Now we still need to enchant our two pickaxes, as well as our hoe and shovel. So these four tools. So we have efficiency three on our diamond shovel, which is absolutely great. And as a closing note, I definitely recommend always enchanting your tools on the enchanting table first and then completing whatever is missing using books. It's always cheaper that way. All right, it's time for us to do our diamond pickaxe. We already have unbreaking three and efficiency three. Now we have fortune two, but as you know, fortune two is not the max level enchant. You actually want fortune three on it. So in order to do this, you can just grab a fortune three book and that will actually upgrade the enchant. So I have my fortune three over here and I'm actually going to add sharpness five because pickaxes are sharp. So why not? Uh, and just because I can. So let's just add that as well. We'll just quickly do it on this anvil up here. We'll combine fortune three with sharpness five. That just costs five. Let's try the other way around. OK, that was cheaper. So we'll do the five cost. OK. And then we'll add it to this pickaxe here. I gotta be quick because it is getting dark. So this will cost me seven, which is not bad at all. And I'm gonna call this lucky because it has fortune three on it. Whatever. Okay, there we go. We have lucky. Now for some reason, sharpness five didn't get added to my axe. That's odd. I'll just, I'll buy another sharpness five book and add it because according to the Minecraft wiki, you can actually add sharpness to your pickaxe. So let's try one more time. Okay. Sharpness five book for five emeralds. I'll take that and let's try and enchant that again. So I'm going to enchant lucky here with uh, sharpness five. Right, so something wrong with Gamepedia there. Apparently, you cannot enchant Sharpness 5 on your pickaxe. So does the same apply for uh, Smite? Let's see. Okay, this is Smite 5. It's very cheap. One emerald, so I, I don't mind that at all. Let's see if that works. 
Okay, we're gonna enchant Lucky here with Smite 5. Where's Lucky? Oh, there we go. Lucky and Smite 5. That doesn't work as well. Is this a new feature or, or fix on 1.16? Because I am on the latest snapshot, so apparently you can no longer enchant tools with uh, damage items. But I, I was able to do that with my hammer. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, so I guess minecraft.gamepedia.com needs to upgrade their reference on this. So let's see if you can still put damaging enchants on a shovel. So diamond shovel plus sharpness, no deal. Okay, so axe plus smite, that works. Axe plus sharpness, that works. Okay, so new revelation. Uh, pardon the information that I gave earlier on the video. Apparently only axes can be enchanted with damaging enchants now. So that means an axe with smite is very useful. Forest hammer, there you go. Right now it's time to enchant our second pickaxe. So we had one with fortune already and now we need one with silk touch. So softy here is gonna need efficiency five, mending, unbreaking three, and silk touch. So we'll go combine that on the anvil real quick. That costs two, cheap enough for me, and that's four. Let's see if it's cheaper the other way around. Three, okay, perfect, and then we'll combine these two books again. That's nine, let's try the other way around. Also nine, okay, and, oh, 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 wrong one. This pickaxe, and that will cost me 17. Okay, I'm gonna call you Softy, because you got Silk Touch on you. Right, so we have Softy and Lucky here, and let's see the difference. Now, if you mine stone, it'll turn to cobblestone if you're using a regular tool, or if you do it with your hands. For example, you get cobblestone. Now, if you use Softy here, or the item that has Silk Touch on it, you actually get the actual block, so you get stone. That's basically why we want softy. So we just need to do the exact same thing on the diamond hoe. Uh, yep, efficiency 5, mending and unbreaking 3, and the exact same enchant for our shovel. Right, so finally, today is the culmination of my trading hall and all the systems that I've set up so far. I have the best gear in-game, uh, bar not having netherite yet, but I will do that on the next episode. So I have best helmet, best chest, leggings, boots, uh, well, I know thorns is not ideal, but whatever. Uh, best tools and just uh, awesomeness. So uh, stick with me and on the next episode, let's go start hunting for some netherite and I'll show you the fastest way to find it. Not that I really know yet, but I will do my research. So if you found this video helpful or if you sort of like the content, I guess, do consider liking and subscribing and do say hi in the comment section. I do hope I'll see you guys next time. With that said, uh. Let me take my helmet off. There we go. Thanks for visiting. Masbro signing out. And I'll see you guys next time. Boom. Yeah.